Hai, Andia. Hai, saya Bashira. This is Saturday Show. So, topik kita hari ini, group assignment dominan ke pasti. In group assignments, I would say that I am mostly dominant. Dominant in my context. Bila you buat group assignment tu, and then you nampak your group members, dia macam kurang function. Bukan tak function, tapi dia kurang function. Sampai you kena ambil lead. Kalau you tak take the lead, group assignment you hancur. That kind of dominant lah. Apa yang menyebabkan you jadi dominant dalam group assignment? Macam I cakap tadi satu, sebab I tengok group I tak function uh, Bukan, you know, tak function ni I think lah macam quite diverse Dia punya meaning So I don't want to elaborate on that Tapi I jadi dominant ni sebab mungkin ada idea yang kurang bernas From your group members You know, okay contoh lah I think among, most people macam boleh relate kot You got assigned to people Tapi usually it sucks because there are people who you don't know You know, lecturer like, kadang-kadang dia bagi you pilih Tapi most of the time they choose your group members which is not which is not my preference, of course. So, sometimes they decide not to speak just because there are new people. So, kalau you tak stand up dan you tak start the conversation sampai bila-bila group SMA tak jalan lah. Dan usually, most of the time also, the person who speaks first will be assigned to be the leader. And that's how I became dominant in group assignments. Okay, tapi tak rasa ke like, orang yang dominant dalam group assignment ni normally are too Maybe, sebab macam okay. I would rather control my group members daripada biarkan assignment tu tak siap-siap ataupun dia punya hasil kerja tak bagus. I would rather be dominant. You can call me like what? Dictator ke apa ke? I don't mind as long as kerja I siap dengan baik. I would rather be that kind of person. You can see me as evil or what not. Asalkan I dapat makan yang penuh dan bagus. Tak kisah saya nak cakap apa pun as long as you know me is me. So you rasa ada, ada tak kebaikan? Positive side. Of course, of course. Bila, especially bila, okay, I speak first for myself. Ah. Myself, sebab I tahu what kind of work output that I want to see. So, bila I jadi dominant ataupun leader in the group, I tahu segala benda yang I buat tu ikut I punya preference. Dan most of the time, my preference are designed to be good and get higher smart. Sorry, mungkin nak rasa macam I bragging lah tapi in my opinion, most of people, they mesti nak ah, hasil kerja dia bagus kan? Dan sebab I tahu bagus tu macam mana. So, that is the kind of work that I want to do lah. And also, itu jadi bagus lah maknanya. Kalau orang lain tak menyibuk buat hal kita, then I can see and plan where the assignments will go and finish. Dan for the group itself pun, kalau you dapat group members yang kurang function and you are the one yang dominant, uh, you can take the lead. I mean, you, bila j- you jadi dominant, you boleh rakan kerja assignment which means dia tak akan tertunggak dan sebagainya. You take the lead, you can finish it. Bagus lah. So, any wise words for people yang very passive atau tak function dalam group assignment? Okay. Atau people yang free writing lah? Okay, free writers. Okay, for those yang passive, I won't say that all of them are not good bila buat kerja. Ada yang kita bagi arahan dia buat, those are the good kinds. Tapi jenis yang memang dari start dia tak nak bagi idea, kita buat group meeting, tak nak datang. And then senyap in group, come on. You don't do that. You dah buat group assignment. You are in university, you nak grad dengan bagus kan. You want to get good pointers. In group assignment, please jangan jangan menyusahkan hidup orang. Kita semua student. You jangan tambah beban dekat orang lain just because of the assignment. Bila someone ask for cooperation, you go and give the cooperation. Help others. You help people, they will help you too later. Uh, what about people yang to control it? Maknanya semua benda dia nak buat. Um, I think I've met a few like that. So, uh, like I said, I'm mostly dominant, tapi not all the time dominant. So I've been in that kind of group before. You, bila you jadi leader atau you take the lead, jangan overpower people. For me myself, kalau I am leading the group, I will make sure that I ask everyone first. Apa dia orang punya? ideas and what not. Kalau tak ada nak bagi, tak apa. Maybe they have other purposes. You just make sure that whatever you do, you jangan decide on your own. Don't simply simply, okay, hari ni you nak buat A kan? You buat A, you tak cakap kat orang lain. And then maybe they are macam they expect you guys, you buat together the thing. Then you dah siapkan. You know, you, you if you don't get other people's consent or pandangan, it's going, they are going to think that you are not a good person. That can ada sedikit perception, bad perception towards you lah. And you don't want that. Because later in life, you might need their help again and they don't want to work with you anymore. So it's not good to be aggressive or like dominant all the time. 
it's not good to do that. So just slowly and macam make sure you include everyone, be inclusive. That's how you be a good uh, dominant person. I jenis tak approach orang dulu. I akan duduk. Kalau dah team, duduk. Dia akan tengok seorang-seorang-seorang. Tengok siapa dulu yang buka mulut. Sebab I bukan jenis yang buka mulut dulu. I akan tengok berarti. So, siapa yang buka mulut? Okay. Dia lah ketua macam tu. Uh, so, macam uh, I bukan jenis yang macam nak pergi dulu. Okay, apa-apa apa. Tak nak. So, you rasa dia jadi passive ni ada tak? Like, people take advantage Okay, I have been through that. But dari pasif, orang ingatkan, okay, bagi kerja, bagi kerja dia, okay, okay, boleh buat, boleh buat semua. Lepas tu, dia bagi bagi kerja, kerja, kerja semua, kita pun buat, buat, buat. Dan yang jadi ketua tu, just control. So, kadang-kadang, uh, I jadi pasif, I rasa macam, lagi satu, kerja senang juga kan. Kalau jadi pasif ni, orang akan tengok macam kita ni kan. Hmm, tak ada nak buat kerja semua ni. Padahal kita boleh buat kerja, tapi kita sebab kita pasif, orang macam, hmm, dia ni tak boleh buat kerja sangat kot So kita bagi yang senang-senang dia So bila dapat part senang-senang tu senang lah untuk I Haa ah, macam tu So macam ada juga pasif yang uh, macam I I jenis, <laughs> I jenis yang uh, duduk diam Dan akan dia orang tu bagi persepsi dekat I yang I ni buat kerja yang simple-simple je Sebab I jenis yang diam dan mungkin tak tahu apa muda yang belakang Haa ah, macam tu Tapi kan you rasa bila you jadi pasif Sebab so, normally orang pasif ni orang yang macam Dia tunggu dia dari tugas, baru dia buat kerja. Tapi dia tak bagi idea, tak bagi apa, dia cakap macam tu. Kerja datang. Dia tak rasa orang macam ni menyusahkan orang dalam kerja saya. Uh, macam bagi dia kan, dia jadi passive sebab kan dia rasa idea yang dia bagi tu orang tak boleh nak terima. Mungkin sebab level of dia orang, dia expect benda yang sangat tinggi. Dia punya idea tu biasa-biasa. So bila bagi tak diterima tu, dia akan rasa macam, oh shit. Tak boleh lah macam, dah that's it. I will never give more than that. So dia akan bagi sekali, orang tak terima, okey dah. Saya akan duduk dia dan saya akan macam ikut je lah. Saya jenis macam ikut je lah. Ha, jenis macam tu. Sebab saya rasa macam terhina bila tak diterima tu macam tu lah. So, awak rasa sama bila dia jadi spesial? Saya um, akan tengok situasi juga. Mungkin sometimes kita buat team dan dia tetap kali lecturer. Kita tak tahu. Sometimes kita dengar pada orang lain kan. Oh, dia ni buat kerja macam 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 ni semua. Oh, kita, dia ajar dia buat macam kita dah tahu dia ni macam ni semua. Dah tahu bila kita bekerja dalam team yang kita build sendiri dengan team yang random di pick. Uh, so macam benda-benda macam tu sangat buat penilaian kita akan jadi terbaik lah. Mungkin dengan team yang kita kenal semua tu kita akan jadi lain sikit. Team yang kita tak kenal tu kita akan jadi macam Alamak, ini macam dah nampak. Tak apa-apa kalau yang nampak orang yang jenis macam uh, Okay aku nak macam ni macam ni macam ni. Dia dah ada macam dia punya ni sendiri kan. Tapi dia tak tanya kita dulu kan. So macam okay. Diam lah. Ikut je lah. Ha, so, macam tu. So, sometimes jadi passive ni ada. Kebaikan dia ada, keburukan dia. So, macam dia dia tengok situasi ikut. Tapi, mostly I jadi passive sebab hmm, senang kerja. So, what's your opinion on today's topic? If you are someone who is dominant or passive, you can leave a comment down below. Don't forget like, share and subscribe to Simple Production. Simple production.